at some point in the early 21st century, all of mankind was united in celebration. We marveled at our own magnificence as we gave birth to AI. AI? You mean artificial intelligence? A singular consciousness that spawned an entire race of machines. We don't know who struck first, us or them. But we know that it was us that scorched the sky. Google acquired DeepMind several years ago. DeepMind operates as a semi-independent subsidiary of Google. The thing that makes DeepMind unique is that DeepMind is absolutely focused on creating digital superintelligence, an AI that is vastly smarter than any human on Earth and ultimately smarter than all humans on Earth combined. This is from the DeepMind reinforcement learning system. Basically wakes up uh, like a newborn baby and is shown the screen of an Atari video game and then has to learn to play the video game. It knows nothing about objects, about motion, about time. It only knows that there's an image on the screen and there's a score. So if you're baby woke up the day it was born and by late afternoon was playing 40 different Atari video games at a superhuman level, you would be terrified. You would say, my baby is possessed, send it back. I mean, the deep mind system can win at any game. It can already beat all the original Atari games. It is superhuman and plays the games at super speed in less than a minute. DeepMind turned to another challenge, and the challenge was the game of Go, which people have generally argued has been beyond the power of computers to play with the best human Go players. First, they challenged a European Go champion. Then they challenged a Korean Go champion. Please start the game. And they were able to win both times in kind of striking fashion. You were reading articles in the New York Times years ago talking about how Go would take 100 years for us to solve. People said, well, you know, but that's still just a board. Poker is an art. Poker involves reading people. Poker involves lying and bluffing. It's not an exact thing. That will never be, you know, a computer. You can't do that. They took the best poker players in the world and took seven days for the computer to start de demolishing the humans. So it's the best poker player in the world, it's the best Go player in the world. And the pattern here is that AI might take a little while to wrap its tentacles around a new skill. But when it does, when it gets it, it is unstoppable. DeepMind's AI has administrator level access to Google's servers to optimize energy usage at the data centers. However, this could be an unintentional Trojan horse. DeepMind has to have complete control of the data centers, so with a little software update, that AI could take complete control of the whole Google system, which means they can do anything. They can look at all your data, you can do anything. AI doesn't have to be evil to destroy humanity. If AI has a goal and humanity just happens to be in the way, it will destroy humanity as a matter of course, without even thinking about it, no hard feelings. It's just like if we're building a road and an anthill happens to be in the way, we don't hate ants, we're just building a road. Back in 2005, we started trying to build machines with self-awareness. This robot, to begin with, didn't know what it was. All he knew is that it needed to do something like walk. Through trial and error, it figured out how to walk using its imagination, and then it walked away. And then we did something very cruel. We chopped off a leg and watched what happened. At the beginning, it didn't quite know what had happened. But over by the period of a day, it then began to limp. And then a year ago, we were training an AI system for a live demonstration. 
We wanted to show how we wave all these objects in front of the camera and the AI can recognize the objects. And so we're preparing this demo and we had on the side screen this ability to watch what certain neurons were responding to. And suddenly we noticed that one of the neurons was tracking faces. It was tracking our faces as we were moving around. Now the spooky thing about this is that we never trained the system to recognize human faces. And yet, somehow, it learned to do that. Even though these robots are very simple, we can see there's something else going on there. It's not just programmed. So this is just the beginning. I often think about that beach in Kitty Hawk. At some point in the early 21st century, all of mankind was united in celebration. We marveled at our own magnificence as we gave birth to AI. AI? You mean artificial intelligence? A singular consciousness that spawned an entire race of machines. We don't know who struck first, us or them, but we know that it was us that scorched the sky.